Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this Christmas lights design and the first thing you want to do is choose your base color. I'm using Zoya Logan but you can use whatever color you like. You want to make sure that that's completely dry and then to draw the cords for the lights I'm going to be using my Sally Hansen nail art pen and when you take the end off there you can see it's just got kind of a sharp end and I'm just going to start off drawing some kind of curvy lines for the lights to attach to. And these don't have to be real specific. I mean, it's a good idea to have a little bit of a plan or, you know, it might end up getting very messy. But it doesn't have to be super complicated. You could even you know, just draw them on kind of in a straight or curved design that's the same on every nail. But once you have that basic guideline on there, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm not sure how well this will show up on camera, but I'm just drawing some little black dots and that's where I'm going to be attaching the rhinestones kind of like the little plug where the uh, light will plug in. So I'm just going to go and add those on kind of not totally randomly, you know, kind of one side and then the other for the entire length of the cord. All right, so now that I have the cord and the little light plugs drawn on there, I have a few rhinestones that I've just pulled out of my nail wheel. And I wanted to use more colors than this, but when I started looking, they weren't all the same size. And so I just went with the ones that were all the same size. So I'm going to start out. I just have some clear polish, and that's what I'm going to use to stick the rhinestones on. You can dab that on your nail. Just take and get a little bit of that on the orange stick. And then you can use your orange stick to pick up the rhinestones. And just place them right onto that little plug and that's really all there is to it. I'm going to continue on and insert rhinestones on the rest of the plugs. Once you've applied all the rhinestones, you can go ahead and start adding your top coat. And that will seal in the nail art pen and also seal in your rhinestones so that you can hopefully get several days of wear without those starting to uh, pop off on you. And that's it. You know, if I were to do this design again, there are a couple things I would probably change. I think I would use a lighter base color. Um, I kind of used green in the first place because I didn't have any green um, teardrop shaped rhinestones and since it's a Christmas design I wanted to have a little bit of green in there but it actually turned out a little bit darker than I thought it would and I also think I would maybe plan out the design of my cord a little bit more because some of the nails ended up a little bit crowded, others ended up a little bit sparse, and overall a little bit messy, but still I think really fun for the holidays, and you know, certainly you don't have to do it exactly like I did. You can 
learn from my mistakes and come up with something even more awesome. And if you do that, I'd love to see pictures. You can check out the My Simple Little Pleasures Facebook fan page. And, you know, if you do it without rhinestones, you can certainly just paint the bulbs on, whatever you prefer. But let me know what you guys think. And as always, thanks for watching.